Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance campers. And boy, do we have a beautiful day here to do a video. There's a few clouds in the sky, but not many. We've got mostly bluebird skies. What's that hiding right there? This is a 2024 Ranger 2360 Bay. This is the star of today's show. Uh, this one is 23 foot, five inches overall, and it's a very versatile boat. This one right here you can use for your local lake. You can take it down to the Gulf. You can do some near shore fishing with it. On a good day, maybe, you know, do a, a 25 to 30 mile haul with it, no problem. Uh, it's also rated for 10 people, so you can take more than, you know, you and your buddy if you want to. You can take the wife, the family, the kids out. We actually had the uh, family package upgrade added to this. It's going to give you your bow cushions and the uh, little rest here on the back. I don't have those for the video today, but it's got the seat backs and then the uh, full family uh, bow package on it. So got these like little memory foam cushions to sit on that look sort of like that. All right, like I said, this boat is 23 foot five inches overall, and it is 102 inches wide. It's a very big boat. And uh, this one, they start out at 92, 955 with a 250, but since this thing has a 300 horsepower rating on it, we go ahead and went with a uh, 300. As you can see there, Mercury 300 V8. Then we got it attached to a Bob's hydraulic setback plate. All right, so the way that this one sits, it automatically starts out at $95,955. And then after you add all the goodies like the T-top, the family package, the Altera, and a bunch of other goodies, you're gonna be around 133,000 for this boat. So it's not too bad if you, uh, you know, look at other boats of this size and, uh, you know, comparable quality anyways. But we'll start right here at the back. Like I said, we got the Mercury 300 V8 on there. Bob's hydraulic jack plate. We got the uh, electric tr uh, trim tabs. Three in one transducer hanging on the back. And then this one has the custom color package. We did this ourselves and picked it out. We did the uh, white hull, black Comanche stripe one and three, gray Comanche stripe two to match the interior gray, which you can do that gray or tan. And then we did the black uh, pinstriping. So this is a custom color. We got it on a tandem axle trailer that's actually standard. Just walk around here to the front and then we'll hop on in the boat. Got the uh, Altera here on the front. This does have the uh, auto deploy, auto deploy feature. Got to step up there to help you get in the boat. Like I said, this boat's uh, pretty big so you're going to need a little bit of step up there help you hop in all right I'm about ready to hop on in this boat show you the inside but before we do that we have the swim platform matted here on the back when you beach the boat or hanging out maybe in a slough somewhere you can hop in and have a way to get back in easily all right let's go on in all right, so to tackle this big behemoth, we're just gonna start up here at the bow. Like I said, on the outside, we've got our Minn Kota Altera here on the front. This is a 36 volt trolling motor. It's got the uh, spot lock and the auto deploy. Got a tie down cleat up here as well. Easy to get to, very convenient to have. Then we got our anchor box up here. Got plenty of room down here for your anchor, chains, and rope. these little snaps that you're going to see up here are built in for the family fun package that's how you strap your uh, bow cushions down and this box is going to be one of our storage boxes it's got a built-in drain down there and then you got these uh, little ventilation vents built into the uh, hole here for the ranger ventilation system Seat post here for your bike seat or your fold down, whatever your style is. Here's another little storage box. Ventilation run through it. A little custom Ranger mat.
And these are little twist stainless steel locks. Here's our 40 gallon bait well. And I notice it's uh, coated in blue. Heard that that helps keep the fish calm or your bait. All right, so this is one of uh, our rod locker. It fits nine foot rods and it looks like you have about eight slots down in there. And then this is all ventilated as well. Go ahead and close these back. All gas spring assist. All right, what's underneath me right here? Let's check this out. Ooh, dirty. Need to give this one a good old bath. All right, looks like we got another little storage here and a couple shut off valves. This does have a, a, a 81 gallon onboard fuel tank. And what I noticed with these, here, a lot of people don't notice this when they walk into a Ranger center console, but open that up. Check this out. The, instead of being like uh, mounted straight to the uh, floor of the uh, boat here, it's kind of like elevated. It's bolted from the inside and what that does is it helps reduce stress cracks on the bottom of these consoles, which you'll see in a lot of other brands. Ranger has these molds custom lipped here in the mold to elevate the console where they don't have to mount straight to the floor. I thought that was really neat. Okay, so uh, we got a supporter potty in here. This is where your head would be. I uh, got you a mirror there so you can stare at yourself while doing your business. Everything's real easy to get to. You have this little snap cover here. Lifts up and allows you to gain access to everything behind. Then you got a little shelf here that lifts up. But uh, and then you have a light in here as well. So you're not going to be sitting in here in the dark. There's lights all over this boat. There's lights under the console. There's lights up here. There's a rigid light on top. That was an add-on. Just about everything you see is an extra add-on. But I look at this diamond stitch seating. That's very, very nice. Every, every seat is uh, hand upholstered out in Flippin' Arkansas as well. Ranger makes their own seats. They don't sub it out. Same thing for the uh, cockpit bolsters. That was an add-on. That wasn't standard. Then we have the upgraded sound package throughout the uh, boat as well, the JL Audio. Got the two subwoofers and then, uh, let's see, four speakers in the T-top. As you see here, two more speakers, I mean, uh, four more speakers down below. We got two on this side and two on this side. So you can have this thing booming out there if you want to or you don't have to have it on whatever you prefer we also got rod holders throughout the entire boat we've got two trollers on the side plenty of rod holders up on uh, top i think there's six of them yeah two four six then we got four more right behind the uh, driver's seat here right behind the leaning post then of course you got all your little integrated rod holders throughout the boat as well on the top cap. All right, so we decided to hook this boat up with a Lowrance HDS Pro. It's a 12 inch. Still have room for another over here if you wanted one, but um, you know, we'll let the customer decide what they'd like to add. As you can see here, plenty of room up top. Put your, your wallet or keys up here, or you could just stow them away up in here. Got your 12-volt uh, outlet there. And then our PDF storage right above my head here. And then this is all gel-coated as well. This is all finished, so it looks real clean. Real smooth finish to it. The black uh, leaning posts not hot at all just a little warm this thing's been sitting in the sun all day long too all of our stainless buttons here no plastic switches only plastic switch we got is down here for the jack plate 
Then we got our Mercury 703 display, trim tabs, uh, steering wheel, Brody knob, our build sheet lists everything that this guy's got on it. And then uh, our price there, 133,699. Full footrest, radio. Snap that back on, get that lanyard out of the way. All right. Our captain chairs. You can have uh, the bottom piece up, you can have it down so you can sit on it or you can lean up against it. Whatever you prefer to do when you're out driving the boat. Underneath, we got a, let's see, our battery. That's a Interstate AGM battery. Of course, here we have the option to swap them out for lithium as well if you wanted to. All right. I'm going to have a little storage box right here. Got two bugs making love on my freaking leg over here. Got our fresh water wash down. A little shower hose stick out. And then you actually feel that back here in the back where you see these little squiggly lines. A couple more little rod holders. And if you'll notice, this is uh, lipped up as well. This is all elevated. That way you don't get that cracking along the bottom. Okay, we have made it back to our custom little uh, bait well box. It is a 240, uh, excuse me, it's a 240 quart fish box. Custom made out at Ranger. Got light in it. This one's coated in blue as well. Like I said, I believe that helps uh, reduce the stress of your bait. It's what I read anyways. Of course, you can't always believe everything you read on the internet. All right. Sound like somebody's uh, over there shooting. Right in here, we've got our main breaker, a couple other breakers and a couple little switches. This is for your, let's see, that's gonna be your live well your uh, and your bait well. All right, here on the back, got a little uh, storage door. Same thing on the other side, except you got a raw water wash down in there as well. I'll show you that here in a minute. Onboard battery charger. This charges every single battery you got in the boat. It comes with four. Put my phone there. This right here flips up if you don't want to use it for fishing. If you got a couple other people that need some seats, you got two more seats right here. Got a couple little cup holders in the middle. And then this also flips up, give you easy access to all your pumps and uh, aerators. And there's the battery charger, four bank battery charger. But it gives you easy access to everything. The pollen is unreal here. I'm going to have to give this one another bath. Another access port. And then as promised, told you I'd show you this. Got us another door over here. You can put something in here for storage. Then you got your raw, raw water connector right there. And that's uh, pretty much everything on this boat. I'll give you one more little walk through here. Give you a good view of it. Stern light on top. I'm really impressed with how this uh, doesn't get hot too. Thank you for watching everybody. If this is something that interests you, my number is 423-892-6272. My name's Brad and I'm over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. 
and uh, like I said this boat is uh, 23 foot 5 inches it runs about 133 699 so it's definitely budget friendly not my budget but somebody's budget uh, but yeah 423-892-6272 give me a call again my name's Brad and we'll hook you up with a new boat if you are uh, interested in something else I can always get something else too y'all have a good day take care and I'll see you on the next one